Sorry, describe your feelings. Uh, Let it go. Feel, feel good. <laughs> no, I feel good. Uh, it's a play that we work on uh, during shoot-around pretty often, so it felt good to execute and uh, had to trust my teammates out there and um, <laughs> being lucky enough and fortunate enough to hit a left-hand floater outside the uh, free throw line. I thought I got a little closer in the paint, but when I looked at it, I looked at it at it after the game and I was uh pretty far out but um you know shots that I work on and uh just being ambidextrous and being able to trust the the skills that I work on when no one's watching and you know fortunate enough it went in tonight you you obviously work on your left a lot how much do you work on your left in the mid-range area yeah pretty often man pretty often sometimes I spend you know just an hour straight just working on straight left hand stuff and um, you know, being a small guard for a large part of, portion of my life, I consider myself a space out for now. But um, you know, <laughs> you know, but just being a small guard, you just gotta have a multitude of finishes, and that's something I've been working on since I was a kid. And we playing in the most athletic league in the world, and you know, full of athletes. So those guys uh, make up ground pretty quick. So just try to work on things that uh, you know, defense is not really expecting. Can you take me through? It's obviously you a split second decision but just the decision to launch a lefty hook in that situation kind of take me through what you're seeing in that yeah, man, majority of it is instinctual and comes from preparation for hours, again, that no one sees. So I saw Jokic taking away kind of my pull-up going left. I had hit a few, uh, or I had hit one or two tonight, so I knew that he was going to come up, but I didn't know he was going to commit like that. So he was forcing me inside the three-point line. Um, and as soon as I felt him kind of behind me, I was like, oh, I have my left hand. You know, it's wide open, so why not go to it? And I think that's kind of what happened, the way I saw it. You know, just instincts, man. Kid, kid said it was, you know, obviously a play with two different options. Luka was also an option. When, when did you realize, like, you were probably going to get the ball? You know, did you have an expectation going in? Yeah, before the play happened, I, I pretty much had an expectation. Uh, I, I wouldn't have gotten that shot off without Luka tying the ball game. Um, he was unbelievable tonight and making a lot of clutch plays, getting to the free throw line. So I gave a lot of credit to him of getting us to that position and then allowing me to get that game winner at the end. It was just a full culmination of a team effort. But uh, that three that he hit to tie the game was just as huge as the game winner. And then just your perspective on, on this team. You guys have played twice in Denver, got beat in the paint, on the glass, all, all of these second chance points. Mm -hmm. Come out with, with you know, a you know, new trade deadline acquisition players, yeah. uh, but also just, you know, continuing to build this identity that you can, you know, play, you can bully, you know, a team that, that is usually the opposite. Like, what have you seen that this team is able to do? Uh, I feel like we match up with pretty much anybody well, uh, especially on the defensive end. Uh, we have the ability to switch one through five, and we also have a foundational defense that we've been going to uh, pretty much the whole season. And since I've got here, it's just gotten here. Um, yeah, you know, I, I felt like we've just consistently worked on our communication and then also our trust that we have the intangible skill sets to be able to stop teams. And then we also have the skill sets offensively to, you know, dominate teams and really get out in transition and, and not so much playing half court in the ISO game and just watch me and Luca play. If we if we get a few fast break points and again, if we score over 15 fast break points, it's going to be a long night for any team. So I feel like we're, we're playing to our strengths, and then when it gets tough and we face a little adversity throughout the game, we're able to slow the game down, throw it to the post, or go to our, our, um, you know, our common plays. 17 in a row you guys have played together, which is the longest since you were traded here. How much does that help, and, and where do you feel like it? Looks good, right? <laughs> Looks good, right? Now that we got a sample size everybody could judge off of instead of like every other game. Yeah, no, it feels good to be able to play those cons amount of consistent games and um, get a feel for one another and, and really show what we've been working on in practice too. Uh, you know, we, we look, you guys don't get a chance to see all our practices and, you know, it's me and Luca playing against our, our second five, but we got a great chemistry and when we got uh, guys making shots alongside of us, it makes the game uh, a lot easier. You've made a big shot or two before, uh, but uh, something like this, in a season like this, when you, now you've had two games where it was pretty playoff intense and you won one, lost a tough one, but how much does all this kind of combine to, to, to help the team moving forward? Yeah, I think I could say it after the game now, but, um, you know, before the game, you can come in you know, to the arena and you know you're going against the defending champs, you know it's going to be a tough one. And uh, we dropped last game and we're kind of fighting for this sixth spot, seventh spot, whatever it is. And it's on your mind. And uh, as a competitor, you want to play well, and especially in a high-intense environment. 
Uh, and I felt like we answered that call majority of the game. We made some mistakes um, throughout the game, which is going to happen. But I feel like we were very resilient and uh, we have that mindset and mentality that we still have more work to do. And you know, we're not satisfied just with, you know, going in and being competitive with some of the best teams in the in the West or in the league. We, we want to beat them and same uh, mentality other teams have against us. And I think we gave ourselves a chance to prove that tonight and we were successful. So we just want to continue that moving forward. Kyrie, um, going on kind of your creativeness, it feels like every game, Mavs fans, team, see something new that we haven't seen before. Where do you get your creative drive from and getting new new ideas? So many people probably get ideas from watching your games. Uh, what do you mean? Just who? Where are you getting new ideas from to figure out all these different layup packages? <laughs> dribbling? Because people look at you for inspiration usually when it comes to that. I mean, that's a great question. Uh... <sighs> or is there any, is there is there anybody? <laughs> No, I, I like to say I'm a mix of all the greats that have come before me, and I've watched a ton of film on them, uh, and also the current players that are playing and also the younger generation. I, I, I steal moves all the time, just like people steal moves from me. Um, it's just little tricks of the trade, you know, comes with being a professional and, and also approaching it like an amateur every single day as a student of your craft. And, you know, I'm never too great to learn something from someone else or I'm never too good to learn something from someone else. So I, I just take that approach, and I watch a ton of guys. I go home, like... You know, right now I'll break my fast in like an hour or so, and I'll just be sitting in front of my computer. My wife will bring me my food, and my kids will be running in and out, but I'll be on YouTube for hours like I used to do when I was a kid and uh, just create that balanced space where I could go home and, and get all that uh, competitive drive out, you know, because I, I do still have adrenaline after games. It's still very competitive. I'm, I'm trying to calm myself down right now, um, you know, even though the game ended like an hour and a half ago. Uh, but, yeah, I just try to – take uh, as many little tricks of the trade from people that are very successful and also those that are ascending in the uh, on their journey. And some light to that situation. Yeah, uh, man, uh, Ramadan is a special month, so it's a special time. And yeah, it's just you try not to think about the suffering too much and, and really focus on the journey with God and the path that you're on and, and just stay focused on that and stay disciplined. It's, it's a difficult journey. And um, you know, to be able to play 48 minutes uh, and, and not do it with having a drink or, or any food in my in my stomach uh, is nothing short of a miracle. So there's definitely a universal God out there that's protecting me, and I got to give credit to, to him. Sorry, this is kind of random, but Peyton Watson's a guy who's really come along for the Nuggets this year and developed. Yeah. Um, you mentioned getting to play with you and some other NBA guys when he was back in high school. On his what, what, did, what did Peyton say? Huh? What did Peyton say about that, that day? Uh, well, well, there were a couple days. He said that once he was able to beat you going back. And I know he said that. That's what I'm saying. I, <laughs> what did he say? I want to know exactly what he said verbatim. I don't, I don't have the. But you don't have a quote. He, he said the first time it wasn't quite like that, but he was kind of just starstruck to be in the room. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'll tell you about Peyton, man. Uh, I walked into the gym. I'm like, who is this little kid right here? That's, you know, towering over me, you know, and picking me up dang there, like above half court. And it was just pickup. Um, but uh, the crowd on the side, it was like a small gym and they started getting into it. And me and Peyton were going at it for like eight straight possessions. And I will admit that he scored on me a few times and um, we were going at it. And uh, that was kind of my telltale sign that he was going to be uh, a good player in this league for a long time. He had no fear and didn't back down. And um, he got me better that day. Hey, you're playing pickup on a Wednesday. You're just trying to get better, master your craft, and here comes Peyton Watson trying to pick you up, you know, dang near three-quarter court. Uh, so it gets your wheels going as a competitor, but I'm, I'm grateful that he did that because uh, it made me work harder for the rest of the summer just waiting for those young guys to kind of approach me in that manner. And, and um, you know, I, I relish in those moments too, you know, going against guys that are taller, bigger, faster, stronger, and it only gets me better. So. Kyrie, first of all, um, how are you doing after that celebration? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, man. Uh, I was telling uh, my teammates that me and Keith were like underneath the crowd, like the the mob, that and and just smiling because it was just so excited, man. Um, you know, we we always uh, kind of look at each other. All my teammates and I, we all lo always look at each other when someone hits a left hand floater or a left hand shot, and especially me. So to have a game winner like that was pretty special. I don't take it for granted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A couple of weeks ago, you said we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. This team has been 5-2 and two since that moment. What have you seen from this team that you would like to sustain moving forward? 
Uh, just that same mentality that, you know, whether the game looks really good in the beginning or um, it's ugly to, to start off or we're not hitting shots or we're not on our defensive assignments, we have to build that resiliency and, and also persevere through those tough times. We were learning through our adversity, like I said before, and um, our work is still not done. So we're not satisfied at all, but we also understand that the position race is happening. We don't have to keep talking about it. But every single day um, is a chance for us to get better and, and enjoy the journey. You know, we're going to make shots sometimes and, and blow teams out. And other times we're going to be in some tough battles. And we just got to be ready to, to battle for full 48 minutes and live with the results after that. No fear.